and I like this hand. We don't want the Cabals. Everything else is fine, though. Nice, I like it. We're looking for one more one drop, though. It means turn three we can play Flame Maker, Coin, Arcane Missiles. Turn four, Flame Maker again, and then play another one drop. So that'd be quite good. It just forces the Paladin, if it's in his off, to have the equality Wild Pyro play. Even True Silver. But it could be aggressive as well. Let me the light protects me. Nice, so the Angerless. I think we're... Yeah, we're better off playing against that one. Than the Nizoth one. Both don't seem like bad matchups though. Okay, so we're just going to ping the 1-1. One, one. Harrison's very good draw here. I'm thinking this is like Stewardess or True Silver. I'm not too sure what uh, the Flood Paladins will keep on Mulligan. So we have 5 pings. If we get lucky, we'll clear the whole board. Okay, so we gotta pray hard to RNG Warriors. That's pretty unlucky, so... Sorry, we had 7 pings. It's pretty likely it'll be cleared. Unlucky. Okay. Yeah, so we did... Yeah. No, that wasn't a card he kept, I don't think. Still fine, though. Just means we can't play this until turn 5. So we're likely just gonna ping and pass on. Yeah, it's actually better to just play Harrison on curve then. We're fine with that. Uh, we could have just Frost bolted. I don't know. I kind of want to save the spells just because we have no synergy with Flamaker right now. So I think that's fine. Double selfless? Okay. I don't even know if that card would have been good in Secret Paladin. I really have no clue. Okay, but yeah, we're just going to do this. With the mirror image, we're going to follow up with the Flamaker for sure. It's fine. We'll trade there, trade there. Hope the Divine Shield goes on this. And then trade. The Flamewaker is good. Deal 3 damage plus 4 pings. It's pretty annoying. But again, weak to... Uh, oh, come on, dude. No Divine Favor. It, it's weak to Flamewaker, though. Assuming we get kind of lucky with the bounces. But yeah, we're going to have trouble keeping up now. Okay, so I don't know if we just bother frostbolting this right away, just to clear it. I think it's okay to do that, because if that lives by some chance, then we're going to be in a really bad spot here. That's how it works? Interesting. Okay. It's fine. And phase, I'd say craft Light Lord if you want to play Nizoth Paladin, but uh, if you want to play like, um, what's it called, like Lock and Load the Hunter deck? The Yogg Hunter deck, Yogg and Load, sorry. Or even just a list like this. A Yogg Mage list. I'd definitely say play Yogg. Uh, Craft Yogg, sorry. I don't regret it at all. Really fun card. Can just Azure Drake Ping here. Plays in a True Silver. It's fine though. Second Seal of Champions, too. Blessing of Kings, okay. So really good that we pinged there then. Not that it mattered. Okay. So we can just use uh, double spell power and then Frostbolt. Clear it. Then ping the 1-1. One, one. Um, do we value... The thing with second Cold Sorcerer over Blood Mage is that it can trade with a 2-2 two, two as well. It doesn't give him a free trade. But Blood Mage cycles. And our hand's really dead right now. Really, really dead hand. Turn 9, what do we do? 
Cabal's ping. So I think it's fine just playing Blood Mage, giving him the free trade. We don't mind too, too much. So we do that. And then we ping here. I think we're in a good spot. We have the Yogg, in case he floods the board. Not too, too many spells, but... We can always see what happens. First fighter is pretty good. Okay, so we don't have another Flame Waker. So our cheap spells are next to useless now. Because we don't have the Archmage to synergize with them. We're really just, if we draw them, we're really just looking to use them right away. Uh, Torch is fine. Yeah, it's good with the, uh, the forgot uh, with the Cult Sorcerer here. Fireball's not too great. So we do two, that's eight mana. We can Cult Sorcerer, Forgotten Torch, draw. Or Cult Sorcerer, Cabal's Tomb. Cabal, sorry. I think we're just going to use Arcane Intellect though. Can still draw on a Flame Strike. It's fine. The Ice Block's pretty good as well. But uh, we're going to assume he's going to trade with a 2-1, play the 1-1, one, one, play the 3-3, three, three, attack, uh, and then attack face with a 3-3 three, three, and the 1-1. One, one. So we're actually hoping he plays Tyrion now, so we just Yogg and then his whole board's cleared. I assume this deck runs that though. I think it's too good just not to run in any deck, when you're playing Paladin at least. Interesting. Okay, so Yogg's only sp uh, 7 spells right now, so it's not too likely for the board clear. So Flame Strike would be a better draw, and much more playable. Okay. If we win this game, it's gonna be pretty crazy. I don't know how many cards he's drawn off of Divine Favor, but quite a few. Okay, how do we deal with this? We can Fireball. So we, we have the Ice Block for sure, right? We Ice Block. Fireball here, Arcane Boss ping. That's fine. Yeah, that's okay. It's not good, but it's okay. Maybe like a rag or something? That would be bad. Okay, Ulderman's bad as well. What is it, a 1 in 12 for a flame strike now? Good enough odds, I like it. We do have double Cabalus as well. We could get like a Nova. Uh, Yogg's 10 spells, I think we're just gonna do Yogg. Yeah, I might as well. Okay, it's pretty Yogg. Nice, can we attack face? Oh, Blizzard's so clutch. That's excellent. Really, really happy about that. Counterspell is great as well. Vaporize, all good. Oh, shield block's really clutch too. Fire blast, not on our face. Oh wow. Nice. Triple Azure Drake's pretty good. And the Nova. Okay, so crazy Yogg. Wow. Pretty good. Feels good, man. So yeah, we got a Vaporize, Counterspell, Explosive Trap. <laughs> oh, that feels bad. Wait. Why don't he play Stewardess first before he Counterspelled? Uh, sorry, before he used the Stand Against Darkness. That's pretty bad. Okay, so we use Azure Drake. We use a Golden one because they're pretty. Christmas tree mage is back. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna mana worm Arcane Blast a 3 3. We're gonna play defensively here. Let's clear his board, then mirror image. Well, 
Yeah, Legendary Blaze. Feels fucking good, man. <laughs> no, that's definitely a good way to counter the uh, the double Divine Favor. Draw, like, ten cards. The first one was really, really bad. He drew, like, six or seven off of it. The second one was okay. It was only four or five. But yeah, good game overall.